Hey guys, it's PC guy here, and today I will be doing something I usually do not do, which is I will be reviewing a game that I am not really very familiar with. Now this is Apex Legends, this is a battle royale type of shooter game uh, that has become quite popular lately, it was recently launched, uh, it is free to play, and uh, I'll just start up by saying that I am not the usual type of battle royale game player. I barely play any shooters to begin with. The ones I do tend to have a more uh, RPG element to them, like uh, say Bioshock, Borderlands, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I actually love those games, uh, but shooter games, especially multiplayer ones, I have played in the past, back in the good old CS 1.6 uh, days, uh, have not played them in a long time, so do not look to me for, um, you know, pro plays or any sort of stuff, it's more of a review of the game, playing a bit so you guys can see if it's fun or not, or if it's your thing or not, and uh, I will go a bit first over the, you know, all the stuff in game. Um, as well, do not look at the graphics for a demonstration of how the game looks, because I have a GTX 960, so to try to make the gameplay a bit smoother, I have turned down the settings a little bit, uh, because, well, yeah, it's not the best graphics card out there. Uh, first of all, before going through the armory in store to show you guys what it's there, and then finally playing a bit, I'm going to just show you guys how to get the game, and it's going to be really easy and really quick. You can download the game absolutely for free at the EA site at uh, ea.com slash games apex legends, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, as you can see, like I said, completely free. You have a PC, PS4 or Xbox One version, I'll be covering the PC version, so unfortunately you have to have Origin installed as well. So um, I am not a fan of Origin, uh, but in any case, you have to, you have no choice. So you get the download, the installer, download it, start it, and it will immediately prompt you to install Origin, which we will do. Uh, I don't think I need to cover the install process, so I'll just skip ahead of that, install it, download it, and um, I'll get back to you guys. Starting with the game itself, uh, the test uh, computer that I'm using is my own personal computer. It is has an i7-9700K as a processor, overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. Uh, it is running off of an SSD and a Samsung 850 EVO, so a normal SSD, not an M2 SSD. And the graphics card that I'm using is, uh, well, don't laugh at it, it is a GTX 960. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of uh, keeping me from maxing out the graphics. So again, do not look at it graphics-wise as a demonstration of what the game is capable of. Uh, quick overview, uh, the heroes, or legends as you call them in this game, uh, you start with uh, six of them unlocked, uh, one tank, two supports, uh, two, well, uh, more fighting based ones, and the tracker, which I am actually not completely sure uh, what he is all about, again, reminder, you are seeing this video of me playing this as a first time player of Apex Legends and the first time player on Battle Royale games, so don't expect uh, all the in-depth knowledge and uh, great plays. I am actually not even sure what the game is about, which I will be finding out with you guys watching it firsthand. There are two legends, anyway, that are locked, and you can buy them uh, with in-game currency, so uh, there's no, you know, no, don't worry, they are not pay-to-win kind of things. Uh, on the armory, you can check like the skins that you have for each weapon and such, they can be uh, unlocked as well with currency. I will go over the currency in literally one second. And on the store, you can buy several things. Now, currency-wise, crafting metals come from Apex Packs. You get Apex Packs once in a while as you play while leveling. You can get 45 Apex Packs for free in total, from level 1 to 100 as you level. Uh, or you can buy them with Apex Coins. Apex Coins are earned also via playing or you can literally just buy them, so you can buy them and use them to buy other stuff. So that, that is the monetization in this game, is the buying of Apex Coins. Legend tokens are, are earned only through playing, and uh, as you can see, while well, you have an opening right there, you can use them for several things, such as unlocking cosmetics or legends, aka heroes. Um, here it is, the, well, as you can see, buy an Apex pack, you can purchase the, for, you know, this amount of uh, Apex coins, I believe these are, yes, uh, legends that you can unlock, and buying the Apex coins themselves with money if that's what you are into. 
Um, again, let us do a test game for you guys to see what the game is all about. Reminder, first time game, first time uh, playing this. Um, do not expect amazing plays. I will choose a damage based character. You can actually right click them to see the skills that they have. I will do a damage based character so that you guys, uh, so that whatever team I run into is not expecting me to do a specific, uh, very important role. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll actually do a training game uh, just for a second. I will do it off the camera, or actually, not, I'll record it and I'll just, you know, um, edit it a bit if need be. Welcome to Apex Legends. I am Bluthundur. You can call me Bloodhound. Let us begin with basic movement. Complete the checklist on your HUD. Okay, so this is basically a tutorial. Right off the bat I can see that the game is running properly, even my uh, slightly aging graphics card. Uh, I don't see a lot of stuttering or uh, crash... Uh, no, crashing, sure, what not. I don't see a lot of stuttering or artifacts or anything of the sort, so graphics-wise uh, it is doing its job. Uh, you can uh, practice. Oh, this is a training, a tutorial. I'll skip the rest of it. I'll run for it myself, and uh, I'll just do a normal game afterwards, so you guys can see what the game is all about. This is the training. It's you know your usual tutorial, teaching the controls, how to pick up weapons, um, use your skills, your ultimate skill, uh, help teammates and heal them, how to ping them, that sort of stuff. Uh, it's quite useful. If you have never played the game of the sort, I recommend going through it just to, you know, get familiar with the controls and such. And uh, I will try my luck at an actual game now, and I will let you guys see how it goes. Apparently you have to pick your hero while you are in the game, so uh, I actually got first pick, I will just pick this one. I'm not sure how experienced these people are, uh, like I said, I have never played a game of this sort before, I've played Counter-Strike back in the days and a bit of Call of Duty, but that was about it. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this goes. In any case, this is more so you guys can see how the game plays and all of that than actual showing off my skills, which I shall warn you are not great. I've not played FPS in months now, uh, so we shall see how it goes. Uh, at first sight, uh, I have quite a few, oh, at least some experienced people in the game, so I'm thinking I'm going to disappoint them a little bit. There's a whole lot of statistics on the loading screen, as you can see. Quite a dramatic entrance. I'll just follow the guy because uh, I'm not sure if this is my network or what. But I seem to have a little bit of a lag spike, but. Uh, Sure hope there is no fall damage. Nope. Oh, okay, so there was a ping of enemies in the area.
Let's see where those guys are. Well, it seems interesting. Obviously, it takes some getting used to, uh, you know, how the game looks, uh, what to look for. This is a 3v3 fight, uh, so it's not like you are running into people constantly all the time either. Oh, there is an enemy on that side. Yeah, getting shot at. I have no ammo. Where is the ammo? Okay, I am not very good at this. Uh, I had no ammo at all, and I was a bit uh, confused. How does this go, actually? Is that like a... Yeah, as you can see, I am not the balls. Um, I will just leave the match. Anyway, uh, you get an idea what the match is about. Anyway, like I said, first game. Never played this sort of game before. So uh, I apologize for the disappointment if you were expecting an amazing uh, gameplay. In any case, uh, as you can see, I got an Apex pack from leveling actually. Let's open it and see what is there. Quite a dramatic opening animation. I got a hair weapon skin, a common weapon skin, and I guess this is a kill emote. Yeah, it is a kill emote. So uh, yeah, let's just go back. Uh, you can check the stuff that you actually got in the armory, it's lit up here. Uh, should be somewhere down here, yeah, Sandstorm, there it is, that's the one. In any case, uh, yeah, this is basically Apex Legends. Uh, that is how the gameplay goes. Uh, people die, you can revive them if you, you know, manage to get near them and get them up. Uh, it's a 3v3, uh, basically first people to... first team to kill the other team wins as you can imagine there are no respawns unless you get revived and uh, yeah that is about it uh, you have to scavenge your ammo and find items that sort of thing um, and yeah that is what I first my first impression of the game okay so this was Apex Legends as you saw uh, a game does not take very long I mean obviously it can take longer if people are skilled and keep rev reviving each other and that sort of thing but uh, as a baseline I guess games probably last somewhere between the 5 and 10 minutes which is not bad for you know quick shoot them up game and you just uh, do your stuff and play a quick game when you have the time and you're not really committing for a very long period of time if you you know something comes up and you have something to do Naturally, you can ask two friends to join, you can invite them and uh, play as a party. Uh, I didn't because I just installed the game and I don't even know if I have any friends that play that game, to be honest. I might, but uh, I didn't really look around and ask. Um, so yeah, it's a nice, quick game if you have a couple of friends to play with. If you have more people to play with, then um, I don't think there is a game mode that supports more people. Uh, I could be wrong, maybe you can unlock it. Uh, I actually will double check, give me one second. That is correct, it is only, uh, the only mode available is three players per squad, or party, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, unless there are new game modes coming in the future, that is the limit. If you have five friends to play with, or six at the same time, then uh, you're kind of out of luck, and uh, you're not going to be able to play all in the same party at the same time. That is a bit of a downside of the game, uh, if you ask me. Uh, it could be a bit more flexible, I suppose, and allow players to make, uh, let's say, parties of... Um, oh, I have five friends, uh, I, I group with five friends, and it looks for a party of another five people to play with. But uh, I get it, that would uh, drastically increase the queue uh, sizes, and uh, that would create issues of people queuing alone, being grouped with other four people 
to make a five makeshift five man group to fight another five man group that are five and are actually all coordinated in voice chat and all that sort of stuff. So um, in a way, I kind of do get that design choice, and they probably are trying to be unique and uh, you know do their own thing as opposed to other battle royale type of games that have much bigger parties. Um, the game is growing quite fast. It has uh, over the 25 million players already and it hasn't even been two weeks since it launched i believe uh so yeah it is growing quite fast it's quite popular and um as you can see as you probably noticed in the video it's not my type of game i wasn't super passionate about it and i am also kind of silent gamer kind of people i just don't speak much while i'm playing i'm not good for streaming so to speak um uh, but yeah, uh, it does seem like a fan, uh, fun game if you're into the genre, and um, I can see how it can be appealing, because uh, it runs well even on older hardware, which was one of the things I wanted to show in this video. It runs well even if your hardware, like my graphics card, is a bit older. You can turn on the settings. Um, the gameplay is simple enough. It obviously, it needs practice to refine you know, the finer points, which I don't have. Um, but yeah, it does seem like an interesting type of game if you like shooters and battle royale kind of games. Uh, I wanted more to show you guys the technical points, like what the store, the currency system, um, what you can buy, what you can't buy. It seems to be all mostly cosmetic other than those two uh, legends that uh, you can buy, which can be bought with game money. And uh, yeah, it does not seem to be a pay to win kind of thing, because it's all cosmetic anyway. And um, it's free to play. So uh, if you are into that kind of stuff, give it a try. Um, and uh, maybe you'll like it. Uh, this has been Ethic PC Guy. Um, next time I'll try to do a coverage of a game that I actually am more into. So that I can provide a better feedback and a better um, review. Uh, as a review of this, I can say that te from a technical standpoint and a monetization standpoint... Um, I am satisfied with it. It's not a pay to win. You don't get a massive advantage by paying for stuff in the game and uh, it's free to play. It runs well. Uh, I encountered no technical issues in my short uh, venue in the game. Uh, no FPS drops, no stuttering, no crazy lags. Um, so yeah, that is uh, my standpoint. It's a solid, it seems to be a solid game and uh, we'll have to see how it goes in future updates, but as it is, uh, it is a game that I would recommend if you like games of this sort. This is that to be an Attic PC guy. Have fun, and I will see you next time.